Sometimes there are situations in your Pro Tools life that you will have common things that happen from session to session. You'll be going back and forth between mixing and editing maybe, or maybe you'll have different plugins that you need to switch back and forth between, or maybe you have a common setup for a track. I do a lot of these videos, and every time I do a video, I need to do noise reduction and also there's a certain way I process all of my videos. I can do a few things with my workflow to make my life a little bit easier. I need to do noise reduction on this track first. I am going to do this with Audio Suite. After I've done my Audio Suite rendered processing with the noise reduction, I might want to look at my other plugins instead. What I can do if I'm constantly switching back and forth, is do something called a window configuration. Go to Window, Configurations, and New Configuration. The neat thing about window configurations, it'll maintain the position, the size, and then what windows are open. This could be all the windows, or it could just be a single window at a time. So I am going to save a window configuration with Isotope RX. Open. I'm going to call this RX. And then I'm going to close this window. Maybe I want my real-time processing opened. Maybe I'm going back and forth between these two things a lot. So I can save another window configuration for this. Go to Configuration, New Configuration. And I'm going to call this Real-Time Dynamics. Now I have a list of configurations and I can reach that by hitting Option Command J or go to Window, Configurations, Configurations List. And then I can recall these if I have an extended keyboard by hitting period, the number, and the asterisk. And it takes a second, but it will open up the windows the way they were. Then I could do period, two, asterisk, and it would bring this back right away. If you have window configurations, you can actually store these as memory locations as well. So you can go to your memory locations window, go to window, memory locations. It's also command keypad five if you have an extended keyboard. Most of the time people think of these as markers that they use within the session, but you can also store other stuff within your memory locations. So I'm gonna hit not return on a Mac keyboard, but enter, and it brings up a new memory location. Other ways I can create a marker are hitting plus in the markers bar or I could control click in the marker bar as well, and it creates a new location. Within this, I have the choice down here to create a marker with my window configurations within it. And I might store this in like position 100 so it's out of the way. I might make another one. This time I'm gonna recall a memory location, and then I'm gonna create a new one, period 101 and then I hit enter and then it creates one at that particular location. And this time I'm gonna make this be RX. Now I can recall my window configurations by recalling a standard memory location. These problems are pretty consistent with my recordings inside my noisy house. So I might wanna save this standard processing that I have as what's called a track preset. I can go to the track name and then right click it and then go to save track preset. I'm gonna call it voiceover noisy house and then click okay. Now, when I create a new track, now I have track presets here. I can right click this track, go to recall track preset and it's right there on the bottom. And then there it is. It saves all the plugins that I had on those tracks for my voiceover work. Another way you can access this is in the Workspace browser window. So I could go to Window, New Workspace, go to Default. There is a track preset, and then I could just drag it into a new track down below. That is another way to access a track preset and create a new track by just dragging and dropping from the Workspace browser.